Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to style some new arrivals from Loft with y'all today. It's been a while since I have done a Loft try on haul and they released so many cute new pieces for spring. So I hope you enjoyed today's outfits. I did a lot of work wear and a lot of mixing and matching with the items. So hopefully you can maximize these pieces that you love in your wardrobe. I'll have everything linked for you down below and let's jump in. Starting off with this floral dress. I love the colors and print to this. It's like an orange and green, blue and yellow combo. Definitely very springy, but also on the muted side. So I think it's a great piece for work wear but it would also be really cute for church or even Easter coming up. It is a very thin fabric, so just a heads up if it's gonna be freezing where you are, this fabric's not gonna keep you warm, but it is not sheer or anything like that. I am wearing a size small. I did belt it here to bring in my waistline because it was a pretty like squared off dress. It does have a little stitching right here to kind of pull it in, but I, prefer it with the belt. The sleeves are like a flutter sleeve. There are buttons here, but they are like those really difficult loop buttons. So I honestly wouldn't use them unless I very much had to nursing wise. And then it's a tunic style neckline. All right, next up is this little tweed skirt. They do have a matching jacket to it, which I do have and we'll style it together. But I really wanted to pair this navy button sweater with it. I love this piece has this little built-in ruffle detail around the neckline so you totally wear this as a top or a layering piece however you prefer I am wearing a size small I just buttoned the three middle buttons and then for the tweed skirt it's this gorgeous blue and white combo I am wearing a size two I typically wear a two in the loft skirts because I wear them higher up on my waistline it fits perfectly. If you want to wear it a little bit lower, I would on the hips, I would say it is true to size if you need more length there, depending on your work dress code situation. This blue sweater is so versatile. You could dress it down with jeans and still be very put together. It just seems like a very classy and timeless piece. Here's that same sweater styled with some white jeans. I kept on the heel because that's what I had on, but you could definitely dress it down with some flats. These pants work with a lot of different shoe options and you can use code Amanda John inks Amanda John X Banks for 10% off but it would also look cute just opened up as well or even like draped on the shoulders if you really like that classic look all right here is the matching jacket to the skirt that I just styled and it has a really great fit hits right hip right at hip length I have to double check my size I'll put it in the description box and underneath I layered this button cami which I have actually had for years, but as I was looking online, it looked like they had the exact same one. This is a really great workwear layering piece, just a silky tank top. The buttons are functional if you need them, but they're like not the easiest to get open and closed. And it's a warm cream, but it doesn't have any yellow undertones. And then here is the matching jacket and skirt paired together, which would also be a nice Easter outfit combo if you dress on the more formal side, I just feel like the color is very like spring, springy and eastery, I guess. And I do like the little fringe detail on this jacket. It does have silver buttons if you prefer more cool tones. Speaking of like cool tone and warm tone, let me know if you've ever had your colors done. I feel like everyone is getting their colors done right now, at least on my TikTok they are. So I'm trying to decide if I want, it's something I want to do. I'm kind of torn because like if they tell me blush will look horrible on me, like I don't know if I can come back from that, you know? <laughs> Next up is this blue and navy tweed dress. And this tweed is a pretty lightweight fabric. So it's definitely not too heavy as it warms up. But I do love this color combination. It has silver buttons here. They are faux buttons. And it just zips up in the back. I am wearing a size four. Um, fits perfectly in the top, so I wouldn't necessarily size down. But it is pretty roomy throughout like the waistline. So it doesn't have that A-line shape, more of like a shift style dress. Paired it with these pearl Amazon heels. These are such a good Amazon find. I hope they restock some more sizes soon. You could also layer that navy jacket or sweater over top of this dress as well. All of these colors have really gone together really nicely. All of the 
colors at Loft, if you haven't noticed, like when you're shopping there, they tend to launch new arrivals in a color scheme. So it's really easy and nice to mix and match certain pieces. I love the light blue on this dress and the print feels very, I don't even know what the vibe is. I always say it's like Charleston-esque. I don't know what that aesthetic necessarily is. I guess kind of gray millennial. I don't know. If y'all have a name for what I'm thinking of, let me know in the comments. But this is a pretty conservative midi slash almost maxi dress. If you are looking for something like this for Easter or church services coming up, it has like a really warm toned pink floral with some yellow in it. I do think I could have sized down in this one. I'm wearing a small and with the drop shoulders, I have, it feels pretty roomy up top. So I would say if you're in between in this one to size down, I'm five five for height reference. So it would definitely work for petites as well. It does have a slit on the side that comes up just above the knee. I also had a hard time cinching this one enough. Like I felt like I don't know, I still have some room that I wouldn't mind cinching it to, but it just wasn't really tightening very well. I think the smocking is pretty tight, so it's almost bunched together too closely to come in, if that makes sense. There's no buttons here, so I wouldn't say it's nursing friendly. All right, this basic tee is the same print as the dress. It feels a little bit more vibrant, I think just because it's cotton versus whatever the dress was. I paired it here with some white jeans for a cute little casual spring look and then threw over this cardigan that's shaped sort of like a cardigan, but it's definitely a cardigan material. With the pockets, I sized down to an extra small and it is still plenty roomy, so I would say it definitely runs oversized. I usually always get an extra small in cardigans because I prefer when they don't cover as much of the front of my outfit. These are my favorite white jeans. They've been a bestseller this past month and I've had mine for two years. I just got mine out of the wash actually and they have just held up amazing and they're easily my most worn pair of jeans. They're actually comfortable enough to sit in. They have stretch to them but they don't ever stretch out. Like I never feel like it gets saggy in the back and all you know you know what I'm talking about. And then I paired it with a closed toed flat. Originally I had a sandal on, but kind of my general dressing rule, and this is just a good thing to mention as we're transitioning between seasons, because this that's probably when it's the most confusing. And this is honestly just my personal <laughs> philosophy on it. So it's not, I would say it's not necessarily a rule, but if I'm wearing a layer like this or like a jacket or cardigan or sweater, I always just go for a closed toed shoe. I feel like pairing it with a sandal or something open toe just seems to be miss or it just seems to be confused, I guess. So like for Easter, if it's like really cold and I'm going to have on like a cardigan, even if it's like a cute light cardigan, I would still pair it with a closed toed heel or something like that, for example. And I would apply that same rule to sweaters. So if I'm wearing a sweater, I always pair it with a closed toed shoe. So speaking of sweater, this one is a gorgeous blue color. I love the color, but that's about all I like about it. I do not like whatever material and fabric composition this has. I find it very just scratchy, I guess, and textured, just overstimulating me, which is unfortunate because I do think it's a really nice sweater for spring. And I like the ribbing here has a nice close fit. So it's not too like oversized and boxy. And I think you could make it work for workwear, but just not a fan. I don't know if you can tell like the texture on camera, but it's just not a soft and cozy sweater. And that's just unacceptable, you know? This dress is so just cozy and one of those effortless throw it on and go type of summer dresses it would be great if you have any spring break plans or vacations coming up. It would work as a pull cover up, but I feel like if you wore it with a nice sandal, you could definitely dress it up for dinner as well. It has pockets. I'm five, five, and I think it would work for petites. It would be like more of a maxi on you, but it's hitting me a couple inches above the ankle. It's very simple, so it just has the little tie here, so you can pull that in, and it ties in a little bow. It does have pockets, and it's very roomy, so it definitely would be 
bump friendly for sure. The straps are adjustable. I paired it with one of my favorite sandals back from last year. And if I was wearing this on a nice summer day, I would definitely be wearing my favorite sun hat with it. I think it only came in black if I'm not mistaken. I wonder if it came in white, but I feel like it only came in black for all right, next up from Loft are these really cute pink shorts. These have a really nice fit. They're not too short. They're light and airy. They're not see-through. And they kind of remind me of J. Crew, the way the waistband is. J. Crew always had skirts like this. I styled it kind of casually here with a denim jacket, just a white basic. This pearl jacket I've had for two years now. It's oversized. I am wearing a small. And then you could do a lot of different shoes, but I just did my favorite white sneaker. You could do sandals and throw on a crossbody for like a cute weekend spring outfit. All right, next up is this flowy blouse. It's like a yellow and coral print with like a wavy flower pattern. I really like the sleeves. They button at the wrist. So it's not smocked, but it looks like it's smocked and it just has a cute ruffle. This would be cute to layer under like a cardigan because that little sleeve detail will poke through. Here it is untucked, so it is hip length, flowy. I am wearing a size small. And then I paired it with these tan pants. I'm not sure if these are still available. I've had them for a couple of years, but maybe I'll double check. These are from J. Crew, and then I just paired it with a flat. I styled this top a different way in a recent workwear video. So if you're looking for more workwear outfits, I will link that video for you down below. And then here is that cozy cardigan again with the same cami and the same pants. I feel like a lot of these pieces have been really easy to mix and match, which has been nice. And then I did want to show you all how the navy cardigan looks open as well. So you could totally button this up and wear it as a top or open it up if you want to use it as more of a layering piece. And then I think I forgot to mention, but the buttons on these are very light gold very like soft champagne gold. That's everything from my recent loft order. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you wanna see more loft hauls, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.